Hi folks, it's Charles Baudet, the nation's number one safe mold expert with more of your frequently asked questions about mold in your home. You can learn more at www.safemoldsolutions.com. Today, the topic is, what are some of the most common misconceptions about mold? The first and most common misconception about mold, folks, is color. The media has hyped black mold all out of proportion over the last 10 to 15 years. That's because one of the most toxic molds in the world, Stachybotrys, is black. However, there are toxic molds that are white, green, gray, yellow, brown, red, and all shades of black. So, remember the color is the least important factor in determining whether the mold will affect you and your family and your health. The most important factor is how much mold is there. If you've got a small area of mold, just a few square feet, you can clean it up yourself. But if you've got larger than a sheet of drywall and it's got mold, you need to run, not walk, to the yellow pages or to your, your phone book or the internet and find your nearest safe mold professional. Because if you've got a significant problem, only a professional is going to be able to solve it for you permanently and effectively. The next question is, does bleach kill mold? This is one of the most commonly asked questions I've ever received in 10 years of being the nation's number one mold expert. And the answer is definitively yes and no. If you have a strong enough bleach, if it's over 6%, you can have what's called a germicidal bleach. And that bleach is virucidal, bactericidal, and fungicidal. However, when you do a little bit more research, you, you'll discover that the only thing that it will kill those things on are hard, non-porous surfaces. Now folks, almost every surface in your home where mold would grow is porous. That's right, bleach has an ion structure that will absolutely prevent it from penetrating into a porous substrate. And when you're looking at what you believe is mold growing on the surface of drywall or wood or decking boards or the attic or joists or rafters or anything in the home, you're not looking at the mold organism. You're merely seeing the gathered together seeds called spores. The most important part to kill in mold is the roots. The root structures are where all the enzyme activity occurs. In essence, the roots are the body of the organism or the mold itself. So you could get rid of what's on the surface. You can even bleach out all the pigment and make it look like it's gone. But if you give it a drink of water, just like yanking the top off of a dandelion, if you don't get the tap root, it'll come right back. Well, mold's the same way. To destroy the mold, you must destroy the roots. You can learn more at www.safemoldsolutions.com. I'm Charles Baudet, the nation's number one safe mold expert, and if you'd like a copy of my book, go to, go to the website and you can receive a copy of Got Mold, Now What? A Basic Guide to Understanding and Correcting Mold in Your Home.